Hey, this is attorney Elizabeth Potts Weinstein, and today we're going to be talking about how to convert a business from a sole proprietorship to an LLC. So if you're deciding to convert from a sole proprietorship to an LLC at some point in your business, because you're making more money, because you want to bring on employees, because you have more liability, whatever it is, the first thing you need to do, even before you do anything else, is you need to pick a date that is going to be the date your business becomes an LLC. I'm not talking about the date when you file the forms to be the LLC, but the date where you're actually gonna have everything switched over from the sole proprietorship to the LLC. That date is gonna be the day where you're gonna switch over your bookkeeping, all for tax purposes, all that stuff is going to be as of a certain day. You wanna pick something that's at least a month, usually two or three months out, so you have time to do all the logistics before that day happens. So the next thing you're going to do is just set up the LLC, just like if you were starting a brand new business that was going to be a limited liability company from the beginning. So you're going to have some forms that you file with the state that you decide to incorporate in. You're going to get a new EIN, an employer identification number for your LLC. You need that even if you're not going to have employees. The EIN is like a social security number for your LLC. And you need that even if the name of the business is gonna be the same, maybe you had a DBA for your sole proprietorship and you're gonna have the same name for your LLC, except it will have LLC at the end. You still need a new EIN because you created a brand new entity. You're going to want to have an operating agreement for the LLC. It's not legally required, but it's a very good idea. And you also wanna set up bookkeeping. Now. You can keep track of your income and expenses in a very simple way, like on a spreadsheet or on a piece of paper, but you also may want to set up bookkeeping using some kind of online system like QuickBooks Online or Xero. The next thing that you're going to want to do to set up your LLC is set up accounts for it. So I'm talking about bank accounts. You have to have a separate bank account for the LLC. It can't be the same one as your sole proprietorship business. And I don't think any banks let you convert it over. You have to set up a brand new bank account. You're going to need to set up merchant accounts for the new LLC. There might be some that let you switch it over. I think PayPal lets you convert a business, so proprietorship PayPal to a business LLC one, but some of the merchant accounts may make you set up a brand new one. You're going to need to have a, probably a credit card for the new LLC. You don't really want to use your personal credit card for business expenses. It creates tracking problems, commingling issues. It can be a big mess. So the best thing to do for all those kind of monthly payments you have to sign up for, for any business, even things as simple as hosting your website, is have a credit card for that LLC. It also helps it build up its own credit rating. But the last thing you're gonna do is transfer all the assets and probably the liabilities from the sole proprietorship to the LLC. You may think that you don't have any assets in your sole proprietorship business. Maybe you have a service-based business and all you have is you know, a website and a computer. Well, first the computer is an asset. Um, and then also you have the goodwill of the business, the reputation of the business, and you have whatever is in the business checking account and you have all the intellectual property of the business. So, you know, you might have something formal like patents or trademarks, but even things like photos you've taken over artwork you've created over articles that you've written, all that stuff you want to be transferred over to the LLC. Now, side note, occasionally you actually keep some intellectual property in the name of the owner or keep it in a separate entity from your business LLC, but that's beyond the scope of this recording. How you're going to transfer the assets over to the LLC is you're going to have some kind of document and how it's going to work depends upon the kind of business where it's almost like you're selling those assets to the LLC in return for your membership shares in the LLC. So it could be the cash, the goodwill, the intellectual property, all that stuff. You're going to have a piece of paper that you're going to sign as the sole proprietorship and you're going to sign as the LLC owner that transfers everything over on paper. That may seem like a weird formality, but the thing is you want to be able to prove that the business is now the LLC. And so you need a paper trail to show that you did all those steps. Then you're going to transfer the actual accounts over to the LLC. 
who's on the name of the website and your domain names and all your vendors and all the subscription as a service things you're signed up for. All that stuff needs to be now in the LLC's name. You also look at contracts you have with vendors, contracts that you have with uh, as an independent contractor, contracts that you have with your clients and customers. All that now needs to be in the name of the LLC. Sometimes you can just write a little amendment to change it over. Sometimes you could just fill out a form to change it over. Sometimes you have to sign a whole new contract. Occasionally I'll have people where it takes them months to switch everything over because they need to wait for the contract to come up for its quarterly or annual review and then they can sign a new contract in the name of the LLC. You also want to look at any business filings you did with some government agency and see if that needs to be switched over. So that could be your business license, it could be your DBA registration. All those kinds of business registrations need to be switched to the LLC. Occasionally you can just switch it. It's that simple just to fill out a form. Sometimes you have to start over again. So you need to look in your county, in your city, in your state to see what the procedure is for you. And don't forget to change the name everywhere. So go on your website, look on your social media, all your marketing pieces. The name of the business needs to be that LLC name and no longer be your sole proprietorship name. The bottom line is that you need to make sure that everything in the business is switched over to the LLC, that there's no random contractor account or you know whatever left open in the name of the sole proprietorship, that everyone knows they are now doing business with the LLC. Because if you don't do that, then you are retaining some liability in your business and it kind of defeats the entire purpose of having an LLC. Again, this is attorney Elizabeth Potts Weinstein. If you have any questions about switching your business from a sole proprietorship to an LLC, feel free to post them below and I'll try to point you in the right direction. Thumbs up if you found this video helpful and subscribe for more tips about LLC, sole proprietorships and other issues for small business owners. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.